morning, children. I hope you are fine and good. I am very happy to meet you all again through this online classes. And today we are going to start the new lesson, Production Analysis. So in this lesson, we are going to learn the introduction. In the introduction, we are going to learn the meaning of production, then the features of factors of production, then the land and the characteristics of land, labor and the characteristics of labor, capital and the characteristics of capital, and the organization and the functions of an organization. All these things we are going to learn today in this lesson, children. Introduction. In the introduction, we are going to learn the meaning of production. So, production is the process of making the material and the immaterial input and it will be converted into output for and use it for consumption. And production is the result of the four factors of production. They are land, labor, capital and organization. So, it, it, production refers to the creation or addition of value. Or in other words, it simply transforms the input into output. Shall I say again? It simply transforms the input into output. Production may be at various levels. So the scale of production influences the cost of production. So there is also the possibility of making the products at a lower price. So this is the meaning of production. Children, shall we learn about the features of the factors of production? So the factors of production means resources used in the, used in the production process of commodities. There are four factors of production. They are land, labor, capital and organization. Land represents natural resources. It means all the sea, river, mountain, forest, etc. are called as natural resources. Labor represents human resources. So land and labor represents primary factors of production. Saved amount is called as capital. And that can be used as an investment in the production process. An organization or an enterprise is a special form of labor and so the capital and organization are called as the secondary factors of production. So all these four fac factors of production depend on each other and they play an important role in the production process. So these are the features of factors of production. Children, shall we learn the meaning of land and the characteristics of land? So, in the ordinary sense, land refers to the soil or the surface of the earth or ground. But in economics, land means all gifts of nature owned and controlled by human beings and which yields an income. And that is the meaning of land. So, the economic prosperity of the country depends on uh, of our natural resources. So, hence, all aspects of economic life, life, like agriculture, trade and industry are generally influenced by natural resources which are called as land and land in economics. So let us learn the characteristics of land. Land is the primary factor of production. It means land is an important factor of production. Land is a passive factor of production. That means land is not an active factor. Land is a free gift of nature. It is a it is God's creation. Land has no cost of production. Then land is fixed in supply. Land is fixed in supply. Land is permanent. We cannot remove the land. Land is permanent. Land is immovable. Land is heterogeneous. That means land is heterogeneous. It, it has got different kinds. That is it differs in fertility. One one land will give more fertility and another land may give less fertility. So land is heterogeneous and land has alternative uses. We can use it for many purposes. Then land is subject to law of diminishing returns. It means when we are going to use the land continuously, the returns will be diminishing. These are the characteristics of land. The next factor of production will be labor. As we all know about the 
labor so labor is an active factor of production labor refers to any type of work performed by a laborer for earning an income or it which yields an income that means it refers to any work undertaken for securing an income or reward it may be manual or intellectual manual refers to the work done by a farmer cook or rickshaw puller etc is called as manual whereas the, the work done by the doctor engineer teacher is called as intellectual so according to marshall labor represents services provided by the factor labor which represents or which helps in yielding an income to the owner of the labor power this is the meaning of or definition of labor now let us learn the characteristics of labor characteristics of labor the first one will be labor is the animate factor of production it means labor is having life labor is an active factor of production he is active labor may be manual or intellectual the work done by a rickshaw puller or the um, the cook it is called as manual the work done by a doctor engineer is called as an intellectual labor is perishable labor is inseparable from the laborer labor is less mobile between places and occupations labor is a means as well as an end labor is a both a cause of production and he is also the consumer of the product labor differs in ability that's what labor units are heterogeneous laborers are different according to their ability each one differs labor supply determines its reward so according to the work done by the labor the wages determine labor as weak bargaining power he cannot go on ask for more wages so these are the characteristics of labor capital capital is a secondary means of production according to marshall capital consists of all kinds of wealth other than the free gift of nature which yields an income this is the definition of capital or in other words capital refers to that part of production or saving that can be used for investment for the further production process characteristics of capital capital is a man made factor capital is mobile between places and person it can be moved from one place to another place and also from one person to another person capital is a passive factor it is not active capital supply is elastic it is flexible capital's demand is a derived demand that can be it is the demand for a good and service that results from the demand of a different or related good or service that is called as derived demand capital is durable it can be used for a long time capital yields income if you are going to invest it invest we get more amount and then the last one capital depreciates so all these are the characteristics of capital then now the next factor of production will be organization the man behind organizing the business is called as the organizer or an entrepreneur so the organization is the most important factor of production so joseph schumpeter says that an entrepreneur innovates coordinates other factors of production plans and runs the business he not only runs the business he also bears the risk of the business so his reward is residual it may be profit or loss children let us learn the functions of an organizer initiation an organizer is the initiator of the business by considering the situation and the availability of resources and planning the entire process of business or production innovation a successful entrepreneur is always an innovator he introduces new methods of techniques in the production process coordination an organizer applies a particular a um, particular combination of all the factors of production to start and run the business or production control 
direction and supervision that is an organizer controls so that nothing prevents the organization to achieve its goals he directs the organization to get better results and also supervises the organization for the smooth functioning of all the factors involved in the process of production next one will be risk taking and uncertainty bearing so there is always risk taking and uncertainty obstacle risk taking may be ensured but the uncertainty is not cannot be ensured it may reduce profit so entrepreneur is a person always he may expect loss also he cannot expect always profit so the entrepreneur is a person who combines all the land labor capital in a proper way and he coordinates in a proper way and get profit so all these are called as the functions of an entrepreneur children how are you all shall we recall whatever we have learned in this class we have started the new lesson called as production analysis we have learned about the meaning of production features of factors of production and the land characteristics of land labor characteristics of labor capital and the characteristics of capital and the organization and the functions of an organizer i hope you would have understood this lesson children please go through it have a nice day thank you bye